What up guys, Savvy Echo here and welcome back to the sesh and today we're pretty much unboxing from Emerald City Comic Con uh, the buzz off from He-Man and uh, the uh, glitter Carmen San Diego pretty much made my order online through FYE and uh, it wasn't so bad this time around checked out pretty quick it went live and it was a smooth easy checkout so hopefully the boxes came mint and uh, yeah, we'll take them out of the box. We'll take a closer look and uh, see if uh, hopefully maybe Funko keeps on doing uh, He-Man pops. Because uh, from what I heard, they might no longer be uh, producing these guys due to licensing issues and all that. But uh, we'll get into that in a little bit later in the video. And as you can see, uh, it was packed pretty well. Well, not really. I mean, they just put you know they just put a paper bag the three pops and sometimes that's why he just tends not to do a crazy solid job but um here they are and hopefully uh like i said they came in pretty mint so i'll go ahead and take them out of the box and uh, we'll take a closer look i'll just show you the uh back of the box for he-man right here these are the other characters you can get beast man Battle Armor He-Man, Battle Armor Skeletor, Merman, Evil Lin, Orko, and Stratos. And I'm going to try to get the three on the bottom soon because uh, I, I got a feeling they're going to get vaulted soon. And I still need to find the chase for Merman. And for uh, Carmen San Diego, it's pretty much like the uh, GameStop one that they released. That's pretty much it. But uh, I'll go ahead and take them out of the box and we'll take a closer look. Cool. Alright guys, so here are the Emerald City Comic Con shared through FYE out of the box. And I'm uh, just going to start off with Carmen San Diego. And they did a pretty solid job with the whole glitter on this. It is part of the uh, Diamond Collection, so for you guys that are trying to complete the set, this is a part of it. And my only complaint will probably be the earrings and the sort of the hairline looks a little smudgy and splotchy all over the place. But other than that, they did a pretty solid job because the worst one had to be Ursula. I mean, that thing was just bad looking. And the details on this pop are cool, like the whole little buttons, her gloves, the red shoes, the hat, pretty badass. I did pick up the GameStop exclusive one that uh, sort of it's sort of fading from the bottom, it's like invisible. And initially I wasn't going to pick this up, but since I was already picking up Buzz Off, uh, I said why not, I'm already paying for the shipping. And uh, it's rare for me to actually go to FYE and try to track stuff down in store. And... The other one that I picked up, well, obviously, is Buzz Off, and uh, it's pretty cool. I really dig the way this pop looks. And the back, they kind of sort of did, like, this flat, rubbery plastic for the wings, I guess, to, you know, because bees tend to have, you know, those little skinny, like, flat wings. So let me know in the comments if you would have preferred them to actually mold this into, like, a, like make it look a little bit more thicker instead of this plastic rubbery thing. Because, uh, I mean, if it would fall, I would imagine that if they were to mold it like they do other pops, this would easily snap off. So, let me know if you would have preferred it that way or if you're cool with just the way this came out. I think it's cool. I think it's chill the way they did this. And, uh, you know, it's got his eyes, his axe. Uh, I don't know if you, you would call it visors or goggles or whatever that he would use on the show. But it's been a while since I've seen it. So, let me know in the comments about that, how you, how you uh, liked if this guy turned out well. And for Masters of the Universe, I mean, there's been rumors going around that that might be the last pop due to licensing issues. Because uh, Funko recently released the whole uh, Savage World line. Uh, there was a couple of exclusives for uh, Target. And they did do, like, some DC versions. And I think Mattel wasn't too happy with that. So, you know, we'll find out in the future if, uh, I guess, in the near future, if they're going to keep making these pops or not. But uh, let me know in the comments also if you know anything about that. And if uh, you want to see any more of these pops. Because they could still make characters like uh, like Whiplash, Triclops, uh, Fisto. They could still make Mecha Neck. They could still make uh, all the Pop Deluxe versions of uh, Panthor and Skeletor and the uh, Battle Cat. And, uh, you know, He-Man. That would be pretty cool. Uh but like I said, it could keep going, but who knows? We'll see what happens if, you know, they lose the license or what's going to happen with that. But uh, thanks for sticking around, guys, for the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what your thoughts are. Like I said, pretty much of the whole thing going down. And 
Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for checking out the vid, for taking time out of your day. And stay tuned. More vids to come. Laters.